Hello everyone, today we're gonna have dilation. So this is the first part. I will put the link of the video of the second part in the description box below. Dilation is a transformation that produces an image that is the same shape as the original, but of, but it's a different size. It's pretty much a similar, the image and the pre-image are similar figures. So let's take some examples here. First, draw the triangle with vertices um, uh, A is one and one. So I go ahead and draw that over here. So we're drawing the pre-image. So that's one, one. So I label this as A. And then one, four. So one, four is gonna be over here. I will label this as um, B. And then we have uh, three, one. Three, one, I will label this as um, s uh, vertex C. Okay, this is letter C right here. So I'm going to draw the um, triangle. So this is how it's going to look like. So we, we will, we're going to call this as the pre-image. Okay, so this is the pre-image right here. The next thing that we are going to do, it says here that we are going to dilate. By the way, dilation is like blowing it up or shrinking it. So it's either way. So we have dilate the triangle with a scale factor of 2. That means we are going to multiply each of these numbers here by 2. So we can therefore get a, the, the coordinate for the, uh, the image after we multiply two the uh, the vertices of the pre-image would be, so the A prime, the prime is telling us that it is the image. So after we multiplied it by two, so this would be two and two. And then this would be, time, again, multiply each of these by two. So the B prime is two, eight. And then the C prime is six, two. Okay. Now the next thing that we're going to do is to draw this image that we got over here using this, um, using this coordinate. So A prime is, I'm gonna use a different color for the uh, image. So two and two, two and two should be this, uh, this one right here. So that's two and two. So I will label this as A prime. And then B prime is two eight. So two all the way to eight. So it's gonna be over here. This is B prime. And C prime is 6, 2, so that's going to be 6 and up to here. So this is our C prime. So I'm going to create the image. Again, the blue color is the pre-image. And then the red one is the image. So this is the um, triangle. This is the image of this blue triangle. Okay. Now, um, looking at this, because it says here that the scale factor was 2, looking at this, we can therefore conclude that uh, these two are similar triangle because it was just the sides are just multiplied by 2 because the scale factor was 2. So in here, the side length for this is 2. The side length multiplied by 2, the side length for this is 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So it was multiplied by 2. So it was doubled. Now let's see the height over here. So that's 1, 2, 3. So we're expecting the image will have 6 because, again, the scale factor was 2. So let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So again, the image was multiplied by 2 to get the side length, and that came out four, and the coordinates what was multiplied by two, and that's how we got uh, that's how we got these coordinates here. So the next question that we have here is to find the center of dilation. So how do we find the center of dilation? So this is what we're gonna do. We are going to connect the two vertices, the corresponding uh, parts. So the B prime and the B are corresponding. So what I would do is I will connect them together so the b and the b prime will be connected together okay i connect to that and then i will connect the a and the a prime together and then so i'm gonna connect these two dots together here so i'll connect it and then the c prime and the c shall be connected together and the intersection of this three lines is the center of dilation. So from here, we can conclude that the center of dilation is located at the point of origin, and that is zero, zero, is the center of dilation. Okay, let's try another problem right here. So 
I have given you the image. So we know that it's an image because it doesn't have the prime. So this one is the image. This one, uh, sorry, this one is the pre-image and this one is the image. So the image will have the prime. The pre-image will not have any prime on it. So looking at this, we can come up with a coordinate for A, B, C, and D. So the A here, so I'm going to use blue for the uh, pre-image. So the A there should be negative 6 and 8. The B is negative 7 and 7. The C is negative. Um, so the B is negative 7. The C is negative 7 and 6. And then the D is negative 6 and 6. Now we look at the, um, the image right here. We find the coordinate. So that is um, 2 and 0. And then the B prime is negative 3 and 5. And then the C prime is negative 3 and negative 10. By the way, this is a negative 5. And then uh, the D prime is 2 and... Um, so the uh, D prime is 2 and negative 10. So these are the the coordinates of the image. Now we are asked here, what is the scale factor? So to find the scale factor, we look at the parts here. This is one. That's one unit right there. That's the length of this side. So we count how, what's the length for this? So this is going to be one, two, three, four, five. So the length of this side is five. So what number was multiplied to the pre-image to get to five? That's the scale factor. So in this problem right here, our scale factor is 5. Let's see if it's going to work with the rest of the parts here. So this is 1 right here. So let's see, we're expecting 1 times 5. This, this should also be 5. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it is 5. And then we find the length of this side. Let's look at the uh, pre-image first. So this is 2. So I'm expecting 10 over here. So that's 1, 2, because we, the scale factor was 5. So 2 times 5 is 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And so the scale factor, you can, uh, this one, we can't really figure this out because we're going to use a special method for this. But uh, each part have been multiplied by 5. So this, this length right here is 5 times of this. Now, we are asked for the center of dilation. Again, just like what, how we did it with the previous um, previous uh, uh, example, we are going to connect each of the letters. So I'm going to start with A and A prime. So I'm going to connect them together. And then where the uh, all the lines are, con uh, are um, intersecting is the center of dilation. So I'm going to connect that together. So that is the A and A prime. I will connect the D and the uh, D prime. So I will connect them um, all together over here. So let's see, that's the that's D prime right there, and this is the D. So I am going to connect them together. So it's gonna look like that, and I'm going to connect the C prime and the C together. So C and the C prime, it's gonna be over there. So I connect them. And then the B prime and then the B will be connected together as well. And the intersection again of all the lines is the center of dilation. So as you can see, all of the dots have um, merged through this point right here. So this is our center of dilation. That's where all of the lines are merging so the center of dilation in coordinate form here would be that's negative 8 and 10. if you find this video helpful hit like and subscribe for more math videos see ya